Hello everyone. So today I'm looking to do is install a dash cam in one of my vehicles. I wanted to get something that has both front and back camera. So I got this Rexing V1 LG. I had decent reviews online so I thought you know I'm gonna give it a try. So this is the dash cam and here's the stuff that it comes with. So it has a front camera right here and then it has a camera for the back. Then it has the mounting bracket. Uh, here we got the mounting bracket for the front camera. And then we got the power cable, short power cable just for the front camera and a really long power cable for the back camera. The SD card is a high capacity SD card specific for the cameras. And a bunch of clips to hide the wire as you're uh, installing the camera here. So. I believe this is the one, the cable to connect the camera to your computer. Okay. What else we got? We got a CD, a manual. Now I'm looking to install this camera in a 2010 Honda Odyssey minivan. So, and I think the the long wire, this one here, is gonna come really handy. Now, if you're looking to install it in an SUV or any three-row vehicle, I believe the wire itself is about 15 foot or 16 foot. So that should be decent. And I just got reminded by my son that I totally forgot to say what this thing is. So this is um, the tool that the that's in the box and it's there to hide the wire inside the headliner. So we're gonna be running the wire in the headliner, which is up there. And this tool is gonna come really handy to hide the wire as we go and hide it on the side. So on the inside of the vehicle, I have installed uh, the camera charger right now where the charging port is. And I'm going to open this thing up so it pops open actually. So if I could take the wire, have it run here, have it go up here, and then take it all the way into the side liner. But the nice thing about it is that you can pull the liner out and have it go and the wire can actually uh, run in the little bit of a groove we got here so I can use that to run the wire all the way up all the way up and then when it gets to headliner I can just push that here under the headliner and install the camera almost right behind the rear view mirror so that is the big old master plan right now all right so got some success I was able to push the wire here uh, above this compartment have it go in the back and then you know it's able to pull that wire from here so which is nice so now I can really hide this wire behind if you the change dash, your AC filter or um, inside filter you know it's easy thing to do is to open the glove box because the filter is right behind the glove box so we are going to go and open this so push this back and then re release it from the little groove here and I'm going to use a screwdriver pop this thing open probably had a little bit open so it's easy to do now as there you go this thing comes out and the whole glove box just drops to the floor and the air filter is right here in case you want to change your air filter now this is the time to do it well, I'm not doing the air filter change, so I am going to do is hide the wire. And so now this gives me a lot of opportunity and good place. I can just completely easily hide the wire or somewhere around here and have it run some all more the way progress through. here. As you can see, the wire is nicely tucked here, and I was able to use um, close here, go, and then also tie the, the wire on the side. So basically by doing that, the wire is now hidden. And then if I can just close the glove box real quick to show you. And then here I was able to run the wire behind the little plastic casing here. You can see the wire coming here. And we are securely now in this lining, the door lining here. So I had good success in hiding the wire in the side pillar and fortunately did not activate the airbag. That's awesome. And only thing now left to do is this little section of the wire. And I'm looking to install the camera 
up uh, right behind the rear view mirror. I mean, the wire is long enough. It's gonna have, it can easily go to the other side of the rear view mirror. Um, I am looking to install it on this side. So I guess should we have a little bit more slack? This tool that came with uh, the dash cam was really helpful. I really just push the wire inside the headliner and was super easy to hide. So we are right here. So here's the wire. And now the task is to mount the camera. And the wire's gonna go, the wire's gonna just go right into the camera. Uh, so we'll be doing that next. After I've installed the front camera, now I'm looking to install the rear camera on the vehicle. And the plan to do is, because I have to run this big wire all the way from the front camera to the back where I'm looking to install this little guy. So what I am going to do now is have this wire installed on the driver's side of the headliner and have it run in, in the weather stripping here. And then continue the process on to the end of the vehicle. So if I'm looking at the car and I'm going to be doing this, we're putting it under the headliner and take it back to the third row to the tailgate. It's going to take a while. Um, I got one, two, three pillars in, in there, and all of them have airbags on it. So I have to be careful I don't deploy the airbags. I've successfully pushed the wire um, was for the plastic joint. So far, so good. Now I'm at the second pillar, and i to push this down, uh, install the weather strip in the back on. go now here we are the second pillar push this wire this thing down um, in this connecting plastic so hide it behind it in the way to the second uh, row so I've done the same thing on the second door now as I'm hiding the wire here I can put the put the wetter stripping back here so This leather stripping down. Okay. And make sure that the wire goes in the little groove that we have here. A little bit at a time. the strip and push the wire behind this plastic cover on the third pillar. So I got good success to hide the wire on the third pillar and now I'm gonna run to the back of the car all the way here and then we're gonna thread it. So so far I have a little bit thread the wire in is almost up to here. See if I can get it out of here. This over here, there you go. Oh. A little painful process to thread it, and we got success. So wonderful, nice. So what I had done, I had connected this flexi wire with uh, like a tape, the camera wire to it. I take the tape off and thread it through this rubber connection and have the wire run through it. So just threaded this wire through the rubber housing and you can see I had to put a little bit of little bit of actually grease on it to make sure it slides well. And I had to kind of jiggle it, make sure this is all in a straight line so it kind of easily goes because if, it's all t uh, if this thing is all twisty turned then it would be difficult to pull the wire okay. from here. So I'm ready to thread this wire through the last portion, the metal portion. So I've connected my flexi wire, which is this red tip here, and this um, the, and the wire for the back camera. As I was talking, I was threading the wire here in the metal part, and I'm gonna pull it from this side. Wonderful, awesome. Sure, on this side, wire is pulled. Awesome. I'm gonna connect 
this thing. Now that I do have wire, I got quite a bit of extra wire actually hanging here, but I can easily hide it. I can easily, um, you know, bunch it all together. After I thread the wire through the metal part of the gate, um, I have installed the camera, the rear camera here, and it was just an easy installation. The peel off the sticker that was uh, on here, and just have that stick on the back windshield so after that's done so this is the wire is in it's all good and I put that plastic uh, cover back on our plastic cover uh, this one is a little bit left I'm gonna push that back in just to snap on there you go awesome so this part is done and I'm just going to go and try out the camera and see how that works so after installation of the front and back camera here is the dash cam you can see picture in picture so the camera in the back is on the top left corner so that's the video feed from it and um, the video feed from the front camera is right there on, on the bigger screen so I call that a success